Okay, so this is a short video that uh, I wanted to create just to show you how to uh, change strings in MemberPress. Um, you know, a lot of times we get uh, customers that will want to change certain things like, you know, the login message or the coupon code message. Um, pretty much any text within MemberPress uh, can be changed, and we're going to show you how to do it here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your member press version is at 1.5.1 or greater. Um, anything before that does not work with this uh, Loco Translate plugin that we're going to be showing. So after you make sure you're on the latest member press version, uh, you'll install this plugin called Loco Translate. And it's free up to a point. I think you can do a few thousand translation strings before it asks you to start paying. So. I think for most most users this should be uh, sufficient just with the free version. So once Loco Translate is installed, <clears throat> you can come here to your plugins page and next to your member press version uh, there should be a translate link here. So we're going to click that and our website is currently set to let me see if I can pull that up here really quick. So our website is currently set to English United States. So we want to make sure our translation file that we create for member press is also um, English United States. And I just realized I clicked on the developer tools instead of the developer edition. This is the one I wanted. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click this new language. You don't want to edit the template um, as that will change with each version of MemberPress, but you want to click this new language button. And since our site is in US English, we're going to choose English United States. And then we want to choose the one that has this Mepper i18n directory. So it should be this top one here in this author section. And we're going to say start translating. And the reason we choose this one is because it's outside of the plugin folder. This one's inside of the member press folder. This one actually sits outside of it. So when you update member press, these, plug these translations won't be lost. So we're going to choose this one so that we don't lose our translation when member press updates. And then you just click start translating and give it a minute and it'll refresh. And then we can search for the string we want to replace. So in this case, let's say we want to change our um, have a coupon link. We want to change that to have a voucher. Okay, that's all we got to do. So this is the original here. And then you type in your translated version, but it's really, since they're both English, it's not really a translation here. but you put in your translated version down here and then you hit save and now if we go view one of our memberships you can see our have a coupon link now says have a voucher and you click it and now it says coupon code which we don't want it to say so let's change that one too now I'm going to search for coupon code and I believe it's this one here with the double or the, the colon after it and we'll just call it voucher and save okay and now let's refresh have a voucher and now it says voucher here and so if you want to make sure you get all instances of coupon with voucher you can just search for coupon here and just start going through each one of these and translating them and just change the word coupon to voucher. And then anytime you see these percent sign S, um, sometimes it's a dollar sign, um, you do want to leave those in your translation. So like on this one where it says coupon code, I might change it to say voucher, but I do need to leave this uh, variable in here because it'll be automatically replaced and if we take it out the translation might fail and cause errors on the site so 
if you see stuff like that, be sure to um, uh, leave these percent signs, dollar signs, anything that looks like it might be a variable. Um, just leave it in the, make sure it's in the new translation as well. So um, that's it. We're going to go ahead and save. And like I said, you'd want to do it for each instance of coupon if you wanted to change everything to voucher. And then let's say a new version of member press comes out later, you update, and suddenly some, some of your translated strings stop working. Uh, you'll want to come back into this English United States translation that you made, and you can just click this sync button, and it will resynchronize uh, with any new translated strings that would be in like a newer version of member press. And then you can search through them, find anything that's new, and uh, retranslate. So anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out.